What's up? Nuketown Survival. Yo, yo, yo. All right, so let's, uh, you know what? Let's just freaking do this. Um, okay, everything's recording, everything's good, everything's good. Let's go to uh, leaderboards now. Map now. Leaderboards now. Start now. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You guys ready? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? No, I'm playing solo. What's up, guys? Speedabout here! Speedabout, Spiderbite, Spiderbite! Yes, Spiderbite. We're here on Nuketown Survival, continuing our road to the, I don't know, difficult to obtain, very, very difficult to obtain, shotgun emblem here on Black Ops 2 Zombies. Nuketown is the uh, map that got released. Got released at Black Ops 2. Was it like a pre order bonus? It was a pre order bonus, I think, for a while. And then you could buy it, or you could just get it. I can't remember. Whatever. Anyways, we're here. That's all that matters. We're here, and there's a meteor coming. Oh my god, what could it be? Oh, look, it's quick revive. Can I get points? Damn it. All right. We're going to wait. We will wait before we buy a quick revive. So uh, one of the things I'm going to do, I think... Is uh, buy the perks in order. Uh, that's one of the things that somebody mentioned in uh, the previous series. I don't know about a a specific challenge other than that, really. Go as many rounds as we can without getting down, without dying. Let's hope. Let's hope we can do it. Woo! Double, Double points. points. So yeah, and uh, we got new town. Like I said, I wasn't I wasn't gonna do I wasn't gonna do bus depot and um, look at that. Look at the counter. Oh my God, sea strike, right? We got the bike, then the infinity ward symbol, then the the little nuke symbol or whatever. I don't know what the hell symbols those are, right? Remember this? Ooh, look it! There's one of the symbols in there. It's the counter. Anyways, what was it? Uh, getting that that clock to one, and then this to one fifteen or something? I don't know. Whatever. It's Easter egg time in the city. I should have probably gone up to get my MP5. Can I can I afford it though? No, I can't. Where's yeah? It's right here. Okay. No, I can't afford it. Damn it. Not good. Oh shit. Come on, buddy. What's up? Oh! I should probably knife these guys, right? Ow. Be careful. I don't want to get down here, man. It's gonna freaking <laughs> get down. It's really gonna hurt my chances of getting that freaking shotgun ammo, isn't it? Ow. I need like a freaking max ammo here. Come on. Max ammo, please. God damn. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, insta-kill. Alright, I'm not scared. Um, oh! It's right off it. It's right off it. I know I should have invented an egg-moving robot. Stupid Maxis. This is 
rules. <laughs> stupid Don't accents, I stupid maxes, and stupid rules. Uh, there. That was, we got it. We got the MP5 now. Okay, it's good. Now, can I get Jug, please? Must get Juggernog. So yeah, we're uh, continuing on. I know we uh, what we just did. We went to round thirty last time. That's all right. It's all right. People are like, I don't know. There's a lot of people who think they know exactly what it takes to get shotgun emblem in the video comments. It's kind of funny. No, you must get a hundred thousand kills and no downs. You will never get. You will never get shotgun emblems without doing that or going to round sixty. Yeah, I don't know about that, but... Okay. If you say so... Hey, if we never get it, we never get it. I guess we're gonna be playing Black Ops 2 Zombies for a long time, huh? <laughs> That's okay. You guys don't mind, do you? you guys don't mind more zombie killing goodness here on NGT Zombies? There we go. Kaboom! Alright. Are you gonna give me a freaking thing? I guess we gotta get the counter down. Do we? No, we don't have to get the counter down all the way to zero. Seriously? Another 73 zombies? No way, man. You know what? I'm gonna go back here now. Actually, I don't have to buy that just yet, do I? No, I don't. Look at that. The box is right here, too. Should we go with Mustang and Sally? Yeah, you know what? I'll stick with Mustang and Sally. How about that? Make you guys happy, right? There we go, there we go, there's another perk coming. Perk! Drop! Come on, where to go, where to go? It's probably over on the other side, isn't it? We don't know what perk it is, but... You know, we'll get it. We will get it eventually. Can I make a crawler on uh, round four here? I don't know. Let's try to make a crawler. Don't know if we can. Um. Yeah. So what's uh? No. We'll look at the uh, the chat here and doing this live in case you guys are watching on uh, YouTube. I am doing these uh these gameplays live. On uh, Twitch.tv, usually. Twitch.tv slash Next Gen Tactics. If you guys are interested in watching live, because it's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Alright, so we got this guy. I was gonna, thinking about getting the nuke, but. Whatever. Let's go look around. Where did the perk machine drop? Did it drop here? Unfortunately, I couldn't look in the sky to see where it was. Uh, no, it didn't. it's probably in the backyard. Or it's either up there. Oh! 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 Juggernog! Yeah! Juggernog! Okay, so we gotta get up there anyways. Um... Well, we're gonna need some more points, aren't we? Unfortunately. That's good! That's good news, man! Here our solo, our, ju our jug is our first drop. So that's a little bit of alright. Um, let's run another round here. And, uh, see if we can't get some money to buy it. So yeah, if you guys, um, I don't know, I know we got we got uh, Hydra. He's uh, our mod, so maybe you guys can come up with some uh, topics for discussion. I know one thing that I want to talk about are um, these early release indie survival horror, and it's not just it's not just relegated to the survival horror genre. Um, it's this spate of early access indie games that just seem to be going insane. It seems, it's just going insane. Everybody's going insane. Coming out with these uh, early access games. So we're going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about it right this second because, you know, i got to concentrate. Here. Let's look at the ammo. And I didn't reload there, did I? Ooh, good point. Sweets. So yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um... Holy crap. Okay. Jeez, you know what? I honestly, I think I do need glasses. Because my eyes are bugging out on me right now. They are bugging out on me. 
a little bit. There we go. All right, we got some crawlers and we got a phone call. Oh crap, hold on. Apologies. <laughs> I tried to get off uh, quick there. Oops. Okay, so we got a couple crawlers. And, um... Let's go, uh, let's go see if we can get Jug now. Sweet! So we got, uh, oh, we should get Quick Revive too, shouldn't we? We're definitely gonna need that. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's Quick Revive! Come on, can't go prone while I'm drinking a perk bottle. Um, so yeah, we, I mean, there's no, there's no real Easter egg on this map, is there? I mean, I know we looked at stuff, right? And I think we looked at, uh, remember this bike? We can knock the bike off. See? Ha 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 ha! We knocked the bike off and it broke, sucker! And, uh, we talked about there being sort of an Easter egg for that. Nice. We should jug a nog tonight! I definitely don't want an M16. Yeah, I, I think, I, I'm thinking, uh, Mustang Sally. And we, uh, wasn't there, oh, there was a song. Right, there's songs with knock with knocking the the mannequin heads off, but I think I have uh, actually I should do that right now anyway. Audio settings, music, because uh, quite honestly, with the spate of uh, YouTube content ID claims, unfortunately we can't play any music, so it's all right. Let's check out this backyard. What's up? Who's back here? So we gotta wait for Pack a Punch to drop, which is unfortunate. Hey, what's up, buddy? I need some uh, money here. Or I mean some ammo. Alright, so let's finish this guy off. And we'll get some ammo. Oh! Oh! Teddy is a liar! Did you... Did you hear, did you hear the, uh, the, the, the bus horn? The bus horn, man! It's here to pick up the dudes! The dudes from the... the the, the, the shelter, man. I'm telling ya. We're gonna hear the. We're gonna hear some quotes from uh, the guys inside the uh, the nuclear the followed shelter as well here. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, there are a couple of uh, musical Easter eggs on this thing on this map. But uh, we'll be going through that with the Easter egg thing, right? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that here in this uh, gameplay. Um, oh. You know what? I'm gonna get insta-kill. I don't usually do that, but honestly in this map, I don't think, uh, points... Whoa, I don't think points are gonna be an issue, to be quite honest. Points are... Whoa. Hello, behind me. Points are not gonna be an issue, honestly, on this map. So, I think, uh, what we'll end up doing is, um... Going through a lot of uh, a lot of weapon upgrades, maybe. Well, I go with Mustang and Sally, and we can try and get a bunch of different weapons and stuff. So we'll see what happens. We need another perk to drop. Come on, perk! I need some double tap. Double tap 2.0, baby. All right. So okay, so let's uh, let's start talking about this whole uh, this whole early access, and I think. You know, obviously, obviously, this early access thing is, is PC-driven. I mean, you're not going to see this early access crap on, uh, on console, really. I mean, console, they, they want to release, they want to release full games, right? They want to release, like, solid games. But you've got this thing that Steam started doing. I mean, they started with this whole green light thing. Um, and then, and now it's turned into this early access thing. And if you go on to the store page, like I was on the store page this morning, like probably about 70% of the games that are on that are highlighted um you know sort of at the the top center. Oh, we got another perk. Yeah. At the, at the top center of the page are these early access games. So they're really putting a push on it. 
And you got all kinds of devs. I mean, I swear to God, there's like every other day there's a new post-apocalyptic survival game that comes out. It's like every other day. Um, and, you know, these companies are... It, it's kind of varied how much they're charging for these games. I mean, you've got games on the low side at, um, I don't know, 10 to... 10 to 20 bucks, and then you got games like Wasteland 2, and I know that was a Kickstarter game, right? Uh, at 60 bucks, 60 bucks for an early access game, which, and I know they, they priced, you know, it, it's hard for them to price because they had certain levels of contribution on the Kickstarter page, right? So if they priced it lower, they'd probably piss a lot of people off that contributed early via Kickstarter. But 60 bucks for a, a pre like an alpha, um, you know, pre-release game seems insane to me, you know? I don't know. But then you, I, but then you got a, a lot of, a lot of, uh, questionable, questionable studios. And I wouldn't say they're questionable, you know, I, I just see these, these names of these studios. Oh, well this game's coming out from this studio. It's like... Who the hell are you? I've never heard of you in my life. And I know you can go and search some of these guys and, you know, find some history on them. But it's still... You still gotta be wary. I mean, look like look at a game like Cube World. And I think the developers actually recently came back... Ooh, it's Pack-a-Punch. Nice. I think the, the developers recently did... Um, come back... And say, hey, we're still here. We're working. We're working on the game, but they disappeared for months, and they weren't even early access, right? They were just, hey, Cube World, you can buy it on their site, and I did, and we played it, and then they just disappeared. It's like they're gone. <laughs> it's like Twitter, no, nothing on Twitter, nothing on the the game updates, and that was it. All right, so we're gonna pack a punch since we have the money. So, I don't know. I, I It just feels like, you know, some of these games, and, and I look at a game like Rust, and I actually, I actually bought it last night. I haven't posted any gameplay on it. A game like Rust, where the developer's are like, hey, you know what? We liked, we liked where Daisy was going. We think we can do it. We can, we think we can do it better, and we think we can do it faster. And it, and they had it out in four months. Right? And I'm not saying it's a bad game. I haven't played it. But it's like, what the hell? So these devs are now, you know, pushing out these games in three to four month development cycles, calling them early release, like early access titles, and then putting them on Steam for everybody to buy. And it's great that, you know, you can sort of get this funding, like de indie devs, etc., can get this funding, but I just feel like it's really, really starting to be abused, you know? I don't know. I think what I'll do is um, I'll run a few rounds and then maybe maybe look at some comments in the live chat here while I'm live streaming and just um, just for some further discussion on this topic. I mean, some of the games have been pretty good. Some of the games have been pretty good. Oh shit! Oh shit! And they look good. You know? Wow! I got lucky there. I'm trying to talk and concentrate on doing this. It's kind of difficult. I mean, some of these games have pretty awesome elements, and they have a lot of potential, but, you know... We just don't know at this point how much the devs are going to be behind these games. I mean, we can probably guarantee that some of them will be, some of the ones that we know uh, more than others. But some of them, I mean, we really have no idea, right? Ammo. There we go. So, I mean, some of the games that we've had a lot of fun with, like Seven Days to Die, and those guys have been have been um, updating their software, and, I mean, we have a server, etc. We have a server that we've uh, invited our Twitch subscribers onto, right? And we've had fun with that game, and there are a lot of cool elements. But it does, you know, it, it's in, again, pre-alpha. 
Uh, I don't know why I got that, but it's uh, pre-alpha and the the I can't even talk. The devs have been um, updating the uh, you know the the game quite frequently, which in and of itself is a little frustrating because we had the server and there was a problem with it, and it probably has partly to do with um, with where we were getting the server, where we're renting the server from. But you know, I, I submitted a ticket because the server wasn't responding. And the guy just, whoever got the ticket and was working on it, he just went ahead and freaking upgraded our, uh, the version on the server and wiped our world. And I'm like, dude, I submitted the ticket because I was having this problem. I didn't ask you to upgrade the server. So, <laughs> we lost everything we've done in uh, version 4.1 on, uh, on, uh, on 7 Days to Die on our server. Unfortunately, so that was a real bummer. Um, but you know that's the thing. That's the thing. I mean, they they, they want to keep updating the software, etc. And and we wanted we sort of wanted to stick to an older server version and make you know as much progress as we can, and then eventually update to you know several server versions beyond that, right? Because you know version five came out. You know, maybe maybe we wouldn't upgrade until like version ten, right? But so there's that, and then there's um, you know this whole the the whole thing with Daisy, and I know people are fanatical. People are absolutely fanatical about that game. <laughs> I know a lot of people played and a lot of people watched gameplay from the uh, the Arma Two mod that was Daisy, and. Yeah, the DayZ standalone, I mean, they've been working on this thing for a long time. I mean, they were talking about releasing it this time last year, or, you know, into the new year last year. So it's like an extra year of development on that game. Um, and then, you know, they, they've been wanting to get an alpha out for some time. I know there's been, been talk, well, ever since last year about getting an alpha out. Holy crap, man. Seriously? Double right, points. We'll use double points here. Oh shit. Um, sorry. I'm trying to concentrate at the same time here. Uh, and the nuke's gone. Oops. So, anyways, I don't know. That's uh. It it is in very early alpha, and I think uh. I think they probably could have used another six months of development to release an alpha, you know? I think they wanted to get it out in time for uh, Christmas and, you know, get the most out of it from a monetary perspective. And it needs a ton of work. I mean, it's not... It's not half the game that the Arma 2 mod currently sits at, in my opinion. And last night, like, I was actually playing it. I, I went, because, you know, I wanted to give it a shot and I wanted to play it. And um, give us some time. So I spent like several hours yesterday just collecting stuff and getting gear and getting weapons. And I had a bunch of attachments on my weapons. And uh, where, the, where, the, where the hell did the machine drop down? There's a perk machine that dropped down, right? Um, where the hell did it go? I thought it went over here. I know I'm blind. I'm trying to talk and have a discussion with you guys at the same time I'm trying to... Let's quick revive. There's nothing up here. There's no perk machine up here. Was that a perk machine that came down? What the... <laughs> oh. I don't know. I just think it... I just think it... Well, like I said, I, I was... I was spent a few hours and uh, I just left the server and then I came back on and all my stuff's gone. I lost everything. Like, I didn't die. No one killed me. What the hell dropped down? Upstairs. Yeah, but there's already a perk. Is there another perk machine upstairs? No, I already have Jug. Those are the teddy bears. You hear the teddy bears? There's no other perk machine upstairs. I don't know. Seriously, something did drop. There's a max ammo. I don't know, man. Where's Speakola? By the grill? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at chat. Sorry. 
And I was looking over there, because that's the spot for the for the perk machine. There's another spot over there. Yeah, I didn't even realize there was a spot there. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Let's uh let's hit the box. Or do you think no, we're not gonna pack a bunch of the MP5. Let's hit the box and we'll grab another weapon here. So I don't know, that kind of turned me off. It's like it, it, that's kind of a fundamental thing that, hey, People are people want to put time into the alpha. They don't want to just randomly lose everything, right? That seems pretty fundamental to me. So that just kind of turned me off. All right, RPD. That's good. So I don't know. And then you know, with versioning, there's some problems with versioning. The, they couldn't keep the clients and, and the server version in sync, which, again, seems kind of fundamental to me, but it, uh, it wasn't working. So, anyways, I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting old, I know. Dude, I, totally, my eyes are, my eyes feel really bad right now. I know, they feel really dry, and it's actually making me a little dizzy watching the, uh, the screen. Honestly, I think I do need glasses. I have to get glasses. I gotta go in for, uh, get my eyes checked out. So I know people complain all the time. Spider, you're not seeing anything. You're not seeing that shit. I'm like, I know. I can't, I, I don't know. I mean, part of it is that I'm trying to have, you know, a thoughtful discussion while I'm trying to concentrate at the same time on rounding up zombies and stuff, but... <laughs> I know my eyesight is a little, a little bad. Oh. So yeah, that's uh, that's my little uh, talk about uh, these uh, these pre-alpha. You know, get involved in the game and help us develop it. I mean, that's that's all fine. It just seems to be getting a little out of hand, and I think I think some of these uh, companies are just trying to take advantage, in my opinion. And, and it's hard to tell which ones are and which ones aren't without giving them additional time. And I know Bohemia and and uh, Dean Hall and those guys have been around a long time. So, you know, I'm sure they're not trying to pull one over. Although I still think they should have gone another six months. I mean, the, the guy, the guy for, de you know, D Dean for development, from what I've seen, I don't know. <laughs> I think I think uh, his mouth writes checks that his ass can't necessarily cash, but that's fine. I'm sure he'll eventually get there. It's just, man, it's it's been a long time, and I think he could have gone like another six months to six to twelve months. Yeah, and I think the timing the timing of the alpha release was purely a monetary decision to get it out before Christmas. And try and get people, try and get money, basically. Because I mean, they're sitting, you know, in 24 hours, five million plus in sales, right? The hype train is still there. Like I thought it would have died down after a year, but this hype train still exists with that game. So, and I just, you know, I I don't mind the game. I I like zombie survival. I just don't like. Oh, you gotta spend an hour going to this location. You know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know. If you're trying to get somewhere, if you're trying to hook up with friends, etc. It's just a huge, huge, huge amount of downtime. And the same issues that existed in the mod still exist, right? Like server hopping. And I'll tell you, I I was doing it. I was server hopping to get gear. There's nothing at all preventing anybody from doing that. And it was a big problem in in the in the mod, right? So. Double points. Stuff like that. You know, known stuff, known stuff that should be in the um, the standalone. That um, you know, like I said, Alpha could have been another six. Alpha Alpha could have uh, been another six months from now in my opinion, and it would have been probably ten times better, maybe. But, people are having fun with it, that's the main point, right? 
and people that want to support them are supporting them, so it's cool. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Brat. Brat. Whatever. Um, then you got games like, uh, <laughs> cause I, I was tweeting stuff out yesterday about, uh, when they were talking about the server issues with, uh, DayZ, and I, I brought Battlefield 4 into the fold, right? Battlefield 4, which is getting patched, like, almost every day, it seems, because of all the issues. And, you know, you can, all, you can almost call Battlefield 4 multiplayer an alpha, or beta, right? With all the patching that's been, been required. Like, they pushed that game out the door. Right, they pushed that game out the door just to get it out before COD, before Ghosts, and uh, they've been paying a bit of a price for that. And that's on the flip side, right? That's a full AAA retail title that needs a lot of work on the multiplayer with a lot of the bugs that they're having. I don't think I'd necessarily call Battlefield 4 an alpha, but I don't know if I would if I wouldn't call it a beta and call it. Like a full title with all the issues they've been having. No, I'm not using shotguns as my main weapon. I'm, I'm gonna get very. I'm gonna get different weapons. I'm gonna keep Mustang Sally because we can get through it quick. Uh, once I get my perks and, and I get enough points gathered up, then. Uh, but I want to use a variety of weapons here so I can upgrade some different weapons. The M27 is pretty beast. I'll, I'll end up upgrading the. Uh, the RPD here. Let's get some double points here. Double points. Right, we're gonna make a crawler. Come on, come on, come on. And we're not gonna get a crawler. Holy shit! What's with all the freaking drops, man? Okay, do we did we have another uh, drop? I don't even know. I didn't notice if we had another uh, perk machine. We'll go look around. I think uh, what I'll do is I'll open up all the barriers just to make sure everything's open. I'll get the Galva Knuckles if I can. Let's go up here, open this up. Another perk machine, there's speed cola. Nothing there. Hey buddy, what's up? I wanna get the Galva Knuckles. There we go. Okay, I don't think we have a did we see another perk drop? I don't think so. What else do we have in there? We have claymores in there too, don't we? Alright, let's go buy this uh this one here. Get the ice staff? Well, you know what? If there was an ice staff on this map, I would get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think any other perks dropped, I guess. We gotta wait for uh, double tap. Is it only double tap that drops? Is there a, a stamina up on this map? I don't even know. I think I, I think I want to get stamina up instead of double tap, to be quite honest. But anyways, so we got any uh, any questions coming in, or what? What do you guys want to talk about? Any any comments regarding? I don't know, um, Hydra, if you're around, if you can type it in the mod Skype chat for me. If uh, there are any good questions regarding. The early access stuff, any comments about it, or anything else you guys want me to talk about here? While we go to epic high rounds on Leaf Town? No, I'm not, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Round 150 on Nuketown Zombies. I don't think we're going to go that far. I don't want to go that far, let's put it that way. <laughs> I get bored, man. People are like, you gotta go to round 100 on these maps. I don't wanna go to round 100. Seriously. I don't. 
You know how many times I tried to go to, to high rounds on, um, on Ascension? Was it two or three times? Over the course of how many years? <laughs> That's... It takes a really special time in my life to want to be able to go to very, very high rounds on these maps. Because it's boring as shit. Boring! I tell you, boring! I mean, it's epic when you get to, when you can get to those high rounds, but getting there, like, you know, 60-some 60, 60 hours to get to round 150 on frickin' Ascension. Give me a break, man. I think I have better things I could do with my 60 hours. There we go. Okay. We don't we didn't have a perk drop. Uh you know what? Should I just upgrade this thing? What do you think? Yeah well. I'm just gonna look at the uh Okay, so uh people were at people were, somebody made a comment. Well how will this affect NGT zombies if there's no zombies in Black Ops 3? Well we don't have Black Ops 3 right now. And we're fine. So if there aren't zombies in the next COD, we'll still be fine. We'll be fine. I mean, it's going to suck. I want to see zombies in the next COD. But if there isn't, it's fine. We'll survive. We'll be okay. Um, and I think, they, I, think, I think it would be a big mistake for them not to bring back, to bring back zombies in the next COD. That would just be silly, in my opinion. Let's open that. You know what I'm saying? That would just be silly on their part. It's a huge part of the game now. I mean, since World at War. And for them to just drop it. I mean, Extinction, you know, they tried... Infinity Ward has tried a number of different things, and compared to... You know, they're, they're fine and they're right, but compared to zombies, they don't even come close. So I just think it would be a bad move to uh, just kill zombies in COD. Right. Uh, what am I doing? Pack a punch is back here. Pack a punch is over on the other side. Usually, pack a punch is in there though. Let's go pack a punch my uh, RPD. Uh, another thing that came up. What my thoughts are on season two of The Walking Dead. And I haven't posted all the videos, and I don't want to talk spoilers. I think they've got uh, a good basis for a story right now. And the, uh, you know, the elements that they've built into it as far as the, the gut-wrenching, sort of the gut-wrenching elements, to me, it seems a bit forced. Okay. To me, it seems a bit forced. I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the game, and I recommend you watch all the videos. <laughs> but, as far as, you know, what happened in the first five minutes, and sort of what happens later on, it almost seems like it's it's forced gut wrench. To a degree. So, I don't know. That's... It's still great. It's still great. But... It's, uh, season one is still pretty fantastic, so that's, that's, that's my opinion. And if you watch the videos, I mean, you'll see, oh yeah, oh my god, I can't believe they did that, or I can't believe you had to do that. But at the same time, if you just think about it, it's like, it was a very small, sort of a very small part of the game that doesn't seem to have necessarily a huge impact in the overall story and it was almost almost mainly put there to um, to give you that gut wrench and to give you that oh my god I freaking I don't like this game I hate that you made me do this <laughs> or I hate that I'm seeing this you know what I mean does that make sense it's hard to uh, it's hard to say much without without spoiling anything so
It's the only thing I don't like about not having stamina. Okay, that landed in here, didn't it? Yes, there's a double tap. Well, I said I had to buy the uh, perks in order, so... So we're going to buy some double tap. But uh, yeah, I, I love I love what uh, what they've done with these games. I love uh, I love the Walking Dead Telltale games, the the Walking Dead series. Despite it being a little off, how I uh, just described, um, and even like the Wolf Among Us. Uh, but they're also they're also expanding into Game of Thrones, which I've never watched. But they're expanding it to Game of Thrones and to Borderlands. And to me, it seems like they're they're going a little far with it. They're 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 doing too much, like too many games at once. I don't know, or if they're pigeonholing themselves into a corner. Yeah, we'll see. It's still good. It's still good gameplay, and I still enjoy playing it. Still enjoy recording it for you guys. So it's pretty cool. I mean, you're always gonna be nitpicky about something, and and all the great elements of these games. Far, far outweigh any of the small nitpicking, nitpicky things that I can come up with. So, I can't even hit the thing because the mannequin's in the way. What the hell? <laughs> so here we are in round sixteen. Whoa! Hello. We got a Mustang Sally, we got our upgraded RPD here, relativistic, relativistic punishment device. Right? Yes. That's what it's called. Oh, the lag. Can you feel the lag, baby? Can you feel it? So I don't know if I should really... Do you think I should be really getting nukes? Because it's not, it's not necessarily helping me get kills, right? I don't know. I guess in a way it is because it's getting me to later rounds faster where there are more zombies, but I don't know. I don't I technically don't get I don't get credited with the kill, right? Fortunately. And I will look at uh, some more comments here in a second. Then get myself some time. What are you doing, you lone zombie? Hello. There we go. All right, what else we got? What's uh, what was the inspiration starting YouTube? Well, um, way back, way back it's when, like when I was uh, gaming a lot in COD Four, COD Four and World at War. Um, I I I was just, you know. Playing with with uh, some other guys, and we were doing well. I mean, we had good strategies, doing stuff, and you know, my thought was, hey, you know what? I love doing this. How can I make it into something that could potentially, um, you know, turn into something that I could that could employ me, right? You know, how how could I generate an income off of doing something in gaming? I mean, I love gaming, and, um, you know, it started with, uh, sort of my, uh, my Rush series for COD 4 and World at War that, um, that I really got into it, right? And that was before I started even doing videos or anything like that. And, uh, that was it. I mean, basically, it was like trying to come up with a way to create an income, create a job out of gaming. And started with a website. It didn't start with YouTube. It started with a